Hiya friends, prepared suburbanite back with you. Well, today is kind of a milestone day for uh, this channel. Um, today in this video is my 500th video. I started this channel back in March of 2016. So it's been uh, a full eight plus years that I have uh, been doing videos, taking a break from time to time. But uh, the original impetus for this uh, endeavor, I guess, this little hobby that I've got, um, was to share my knowledge on my voyage and my journey and uh, trying to be as prepared as I can. And I've done a ton of videos on being prepared, um, bug out bags, get home bags, um, stuff that you need um, around water, storage, uh, you name it. I've done a video uh, about it. And uh, I, I do tend to uh, get away from being prepared in an awful lot of uh, recent videos because I've uh, really gotten into uh, politics in a uh, kind of a, an odd way. Um, I think uh, um, part of the impetus there is how dangerous times we live in right now. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about being prepared. So stick around. When I started the channel, uh, the, uh, uh, the real push was all about being prepared. And um, I, I, like I said, uh, I have done uh, um, an awful lot of videos about being prepared and preparedness kind of stuff, gear reviews, stuff that I thought was very important, things that we do here. Um, my wife has done some uh, cooking uh, and canning type uh, videos and together we've done uh, a couple of things where we've discussed uh, the role of um, husbands and wives uh, working together in a preparedness kind of an environment. And I realized that my wife uh, has been a prepper pretty much all her life. Uh, she grew up in a, a farm family in northern Pennsylvania, and uh, um, they had uh, um, chickens, they had uh, beef um, cows, they had milkers. Um, they did an awful lot of stuff as a, uh, a poor farm family. I think there was, uh, what, seven kids in the family. My wife was the oldest girl, and uh, she had three older brothers and three younger sisters. And uh, that's, um, so things were, uh, things were tough. She had to learn how to make do with an awful lot of stuff. She learned how to uh, can, she learned how to garden. She learned an awful lot about cooking and doing all that kind of stuff. And as uh, uh, time went on, we, uh, we invested quite a lot over the years in being prepared. Now, we weren't uh, uh, super preppers or anything up until, oh, probably the Obama administration when it really started hitting home that we needed to really be prepared because the uh, um, the world situation, the situation here in the in the states, was uh, pretty um, tumultuous. There were an awful lot of changes going on, and uh, I figured we better be prepared. So we've invested in uh, generators. We've got a whole house generator. We've got a, a couple of uh, portable gas generators. We've got solar, uh, I guess they're generators, but they're basically uh, uh, storage, uh, battery storage systems. And uh, those kinds of things give us an awful lot of comfort, give us a, a backup for um, the inevitability 
that something dire is going to happen. And over time, I have spent uh, uh, quite a lot of time putting together those kind of videos. And I welcome um, all you folks to just go look at uh, some of them. Um, they haven't really all been uh, super successful. I think the, the most views I've ever got was uh, just a little bit over uh, 225,000 views on one particular video and a, um, probably a half a dozen or so that got more than 100,000. But I didn't do it because I was trying to make a whole bunch of money on YouTube because you really can't make a whole lot of money on YouTube. <clears throat> I've been doing this for um, eight and a half years, and uh, I'm averaging about a thousand dollars a year um, in uh, um, gross payments to uh, to us here. And you know, while it is a business, some of the expenses, like cameras and microphones and tripods and um, uh, the editing software that I use. Um, become uh, deductible business expenses, so uh, it was not all 100% uh, taxable income because some of it went to uh, expenses for production. And uh, beyond that, um, all I really wanted to do was to share our experience and what we learned, and uh, sometimes we learn stuff the hard way, uh, especially when we did uh, uh, we purchase some land uh, up north of here and only to find out that it was the biggest mistake uh, one of the biggest mistakes we ever made was uh, <laughs> to invest in what we thought was going to be an ideal bug out location and as it turned out um, the neighbors were not very friendly we had one guy that we could really count on for uh, uh, covering us, uh, but the other folks uh, that lived around that neighborhood, uh, around that area, were uh, um, really kind of hard to get along with. Let's just put it that way. So, uh, learned quite a lot of lessons about uh, um, that kind of stuff. We do not have a bug out uh, place. If I ever have to leave here, uh, I've got two daughters, uh, one north of us and one south of us, that uh, uh, I'm sure that if uh, uh, anything really bad happens here, that I could go there and hang out with them. We've got uh, <clears throat> friends and family in upstate New York and in uh, northern Pennsylvania where we could uh, um, kind of start over if we had to, but my biggest uh, thing is to stay put right here and bug in. And that's what I have spent most of my um, prepper income on um, at this stage, is making sure that we have a secure home here. And I spent an awful lot of time and money keeping this house. This is uh, 40 years old. <clears throat> and uh, spent an awful lot of money making sure that we keep it up to date with uh, up to date electrical stuff. Uh, had to replace the uh, circuit breaker box. We put um, new roofs on it a couple of times since we've been here. We've been here for almost 25 years now and uh, uh, new siding, new doorways, uh, the screened-in front porch, all that kind of stuff, so that we can enjoy our uh, retirement years here. So, with that said, um, being prepared is truly a lifestyle. And once you get started, it's really hard to stop. And if you have a plan, and you use that plan, and you work on that plan, you keep an up-to-date inventory of all your preparation items, um, you can do just fine. And once you get started, it's really hard to stop. So with this being my 500th video, 
I just wanted to say thanks to uh, the 20,000 plus uh, subscribers that are out there. I know that uh, the majority of them aren't uh, fully active, but uh, there's still a few hundred of you that uh, uh, tap in from time to time, say hi, uh, encourage, ask the right questions, make the right kind of comments, and I certainly do appreciate all of you for everything that you're doing. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to chip away. And, um, when I find uh, uh, gear that's worth talking about, when I find um, prepper items and prepper ideas that I think are going to be beneficial to uh, the community, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to spend my time doing. So anyway, this is the Prepared Suburbanite thanking you and reminding you to be prepared always. And I'll see you all on my next video.